and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting then my name is Rebecca and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also click that little bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new crochet tutorial. In this really quick but beautiful project I will show you how to whip up one of these really simple super chunky cowls and it's got the most amazing knit like appearance and texture as well. So you can use it just as a single scarf, a single cowl where you just bunch it down and it just looks really beautiful or you can wear it if you turn it the other way and then fold it over. You can wear it as a fold down cowl as well. It is completely up to you how you wish to wear it. So it should be relatively simple enough for a beginner as well but also even if you're quite an experienced crocheter it's just a really quick project to whip up. This one took me probably an hour and a half at most, so it's a really good one to get cracking with, especially on the run up to Christmas and things as well. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this beautiful Signet Seriously Chunky Prints, and this is the shade Flamingo. So I've got two balls of this. So it recommends a 10 to 12 millimeter hook, and I'm going to be using a 12 millimeter, just because I want the finished scarf to be quite loose, I don't want it to be really stiff, so I'm going to go with the 12mm. So you want to start with your slip knot on your hook, so and then I'm going to start with my chain. So this cowl is worked in the round rather than doing one set stretch of crochet and then sewing it together, we're going to work it in the round. So you want to yarn over and pull through yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through and you're just going to complete your chain and you're going to need 38 chains. So I've got my 38 chains, obviously if you're using a thinner yarn or a smaller hook then you will need to adjust your chain length but this chain is about 52 centimetres or 20 inches thereabouts. So obviously you can make it longer if you want it a really loose scarf to hang around your neck whereas I want this to be quite a close scarf that I can fold over to just be super snuggly. Okay so now we want to join our ends together so you want to lay out your chain and make sure you don't have any twists in your chain and once you're sure that you've got no twists you want to bring your chain around to that very first chain that you did and you want to insert your hook into that first chain and then slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through both of those loops and now you are ready to start your first round. I'm going to chain one and then into that very first chain where we slip stitch you're going to put a half treble crochet, so this is your half double crochet in the US, so yarn over, insert into that first chain where you slip stitched into, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now if you want to you can pop a stitch marker through the top of that stitch just so that you know where you're going to be closing off when you get back round. So that's one half treble crochet, so you want to put one half treble crochet into every single stitch around and you should end up with 38 stitches because obviously we have 38 chains so we should finish with 38 stitches. So again yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull up, you have your three loops, yarn over, pull through all three and again into the next and you'll put one half treble into every single stitch all the way around, making sure that you don't twist your chain as you go around, make sure it stays nice and flat, and work your one half treble, and then I will meet you as you get towards the end of the round. Okie dokie, so I have worked my 38 half treble crochets and I'm ready to close off now. So this is a good point to stop and count and make sure you've got the 38, you don't want to be working any extra stitches 
because if you work any extra stitches your project will end up going that shape rather than staying nice and straight. So now we're going to close off with a slip stitch to the top of that very first half treble that we did where I've just removed the marker from. So insert your hook and slip stitch. So that is your first round, you should have no twists, you should be ready for round two. So because I wanted this to be a really beginner friendly but also beautiful project, it is just the most simple repeat. Okay, so normally when you're working ridged stitches, because if it's a flat piece you turn each round so you get the ridges. Obviously we're not going to be flipping this each round so it's always worked with the same side facing us. So to create that lovely texture we want to chain one and then on the very first stitch where we've slip stitched into you're going to find the third loop. Now the third loop might be a little tricky to find at first if you're not familiar to working into it but you've got the V along the tops of your stitches which counts as the first loop which is this front one, the second loop which is this back one and then the third loop if you turn it over is this back one here. So you've got V here which is one and two and then the third is this back one. So we're going to be working into that and we're going to be doing treble crochet this time. So we're doing US double crochet. So you want to yarn over, so you've got your first loop, second loop on the V and then your third loop is back here and you're going to work in that. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, Oops. yarn over, pull through two. So that is your first treble in the third loop. So again mark your first stitch and then again into your third loop on your next stitch. So you've got one, two and then the third loop is this one back here. So yarn over, go into that third loop, yarn over and pull up and complete your treble. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and again in the next one. So first loop, second loop, third loop. And do your treble. So again you will do one of those stitches into each stitch all the way around into the third loop and you will again have 38 stitches at the end of your round. So if you work that now and then I will meet you in just a second but you can see it's starting to give us that lovely texture as we work it up. So again I've done my 38 stitches and I have just checked that I've got 38, I did count them. I'm going to remove my marker and slip stitch to the top of that first stitch that we did. So now you should be able to see the kind of texture that you will get with this stitch. So again now chain one and in the third loop you will do your treble crochet. So you will do that for every round now until your cowl is the length that you want it to be. So obviously you don't have to, let me just mark my stitch, you don't have to do a long one to be folded over like I'm doing, you can just do a shorter one which will just sit nicely around the neck, it's just I wanted to do a folded one. So it's completely up to you the length that you want to make your cowl. So if you work up that row now and then I will meet you back to change colour and also just to finish off at the end. Okay so super annoyingly I didn't get all the way back round with what I had left, you can see I'm really close but I'm going to change colour here rather than pull out all of the row that I've just done. So I'm literally going to, I've stopped with my last two loops of that treble, I'm going to grab my new yarn, pull it through those two loops and then I'm ready just to carry on as normal. And then at this point I'm just going to stop and turn my work over and I'm just going to do a quick knot just to tighten that up and obviously once I sew those ends in that knot will completely disappear. And you can see I've changed colour on that last treble and I'm good to carry on now for the rest of the round. Obviously if you're fortunate enough to get all the way round before you need to change colour then I will just show you now. I personally would actually close off the round 
completely with my slip stitch and then what I would do is chain one and snip off and then just attach my new yarn into that very first stitch and work that very first treble into the third loop and just carry that on. So that is it for the changing colour. Obviously I'll meet you one final time to finish off at the very end of the project. Okay, so I've just finished as much as I can do with the yarn that I've got. I'm going to close off for the round as normal. And then I'm going to chain one and you'd snip and then pull that tail out. So I'm just going to pull the whole thing through because I've only got a little bit left. And then just pull on that to tighten up. So I'll just zoom out so you can see. That is as big as mine is. So obviously you do have a slight seam running up the back but obviously that's the back so whenever you wear it you'll wear it facing this way. So if you've done yours just as a single cowl and you'll just bunch it up as you wear it then that would be beautiful. If you've done it long enough to fold over then I would turn it inside out and put it on that way. That way then when you fold it over oops, you get that beautiful textured detail on the fold over like so. So it's completely up to you how you want to wear it, whether you wear it just as one or whether you choose to fold it over. But obviously now you just want to make sure that you've sewn in all of your ends and that is it for the tutorial. Obviously you could border it if you wanted with a contrasting colour yarn, that would work really nicely as well. So yeah, that is it for this super quick and really easy, super chunky cowl. I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.